My name is Cade Madsen. I'm from a little town in Utah called Honeyville. I come from a rodeo family, uh, so grew up rodeoing everything, horses, and you know my, my family kind of just brought me up that way. And I guess I didn't really have a choice but to be a cowboy, or I was just going to leave the family. But. <laughs> I started riding calves and, and sheep on up and, and started riding bulls. I won back-to-back -back, uh, junior high bareback riding titles. I won the Calgary Stampede, the novice bareback riding. Well, actually the youngest kid to win the Lane Frost Challenge held in Bernal, Utah. Um, I was actually supposed to be 18 years old and I lied to get into it and I ended up winning the big check. <laughs> and then uh, I didn't get to enter the next year and a couple years later I went back and, and won it again. And then I won a, a bull riding tour in Oregon called the Challenge of Champions. And then I got drafted, drafted in the first round, fourth overall draft pick in the PBR teams. Uh, drafted to Missouri Thunder, and I rode for them for a year. Had a couple 90-point rides, and, and it was a good time. So. so I received a mission call for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints back in July. Um, so I'm serving as a full-time missionary in the Tennessee Nashville mission. Everybody was super supportive. Like a lot of my, my bull riding buddies, like they just respected that I was gonna walk away, you know, like at the peak of my career and go do something for a bigger purpose. In bull riding, there's a lot of distractions. Your purpose and the goal is to stay on eight seconds. The way that you get there is by staying focused. Um, the bull makes a move and then you make a counter move. If you look at anything else other than what the bull is doing, you're gonna get bucked off. You look at the ground, that's where you're gonna go. In the gospel, you're looking towards Jesus Christ. There's a lot of you know distractions in this world that can get us sidetracked. If you you know look at the worldly things and, and take your eye off Jesus Christ, that's that's where you're gonna go. The gospel has definitely brought me peace through it all. Um, there was a time in my life that I kind of lacked um, a testimony, and once I gained that back, um, I was writing for a completely different purpose. I think this last year, knowing that I was leaving on a mission, it gave me a lot of peace and comfort knowing that. You know, this isn't all it's to life. Like, my identity is not a bull rider. Um, it's not a cowboy. It's, you know, a child of God that, that serves a purpose on this earth to help others and to better their lives because the gospel has made my life a, a whole lot better. I don't know where I'd be without it. And just knowing it um, and knowing that me and my family are, are not just on in this life, but, you know, into eternity has brought me peace and comfort knowing that you know, if I was, I was to die riding bulls, doing what I love, I know what the purpose of, of this life is, and I know what the plan is for, for me and my family. So.